Roaring Game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tankard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. Welcome everyone to uh, Friday night at the Plex in Port Elgin. Join me, I'm Steve Shenya, joined by uh, Joey Rettinger. We're going to be broadcasting the 1-1 uh, game. So after the after the two round robins, pools, so we've declared uh, Team Howard and Team McEwen, both with 5-0 records, have moved into the uh, crossover pools and they will face each other tonight. Uh, they carry the record forward, so they come in with 5-0 and, oh and move forward. So welcome, Joey. Good evening, happy Friday. We're in for a... What I think will be a real treat of a game here. We've got uh, Team Howard versus Team McEwen. Right, let's uh, go ahead and introduce the teams, and then we'll come back and uh, set up the scenarios of what's going on on the ice tonight. Introducing from the Penetang Machine Curling Club, Team Howard. Skip, Glenn Howard. Vice, Scott Howard. Second, David Mathers. Lead, Tim March. Alternate, Adam Spencer. Team Howard would like to thank their sponsors. The Beer Store. New Floors. Broker Link. And VR. Introducing from the Royal Canadian Curling Club, Team McEwen. Skip, Mike McEwen. Vice, Ryan Fry. Second, Brent Lang. Lead, Joey Hart. Coach, Richard Hart. Team McEwen would like to thank their sponsors. Cool Bet, Princess Auto, Hardline, and the Sober Market. Special Olympics Ontario Curling Welcome back, everybody. We're just doing the formal local introductions. Uh, crowds building up on the side. We expect there to be uh, quite a crowd here this evening. It had a little bit of snow up in Port Elgin, but uh, I wouldn't know because I've been stuck inside since about 9 this morning. Joey, I think you went out. As usual, the uh, forecast was wrong here in Port Elgin. The lake had other ideas, but uh, not too bad. The winds are up, but uh, we're inside here and uh, another great crowd on hand. And So uh, we ended up with uh, no tiebreakers in the men's uh, division. Both uh, pools were declared, so... The one-one teams were uh, obviously our, our our feature sheet tonight. So Team Howard versus Team McEwen, uh, well known to each other, I'm sure. These guys have been around quite a while. 
Um, on the other men, on the other men's side, the 2-2 game is Team Epping versus Team Fournier. Both of those finished uh, with four and one. So they brought their records forward, and uh, it's a big game for uh, Fournier and Epping because you know you drop down to two losses. One of these uh, two teams on our feature sheet will end up with one loss, so you, you could be chasing the, the eight ball. We had one tiebreaker on the women's side. Uh, that would be Team Harrison versus Team Inglis. Uh, they both finished the same record, tied for second, so they will play tonight. And then the 2-2, two, two, what I'm calling the 2-2 two, two game, so Pool A second place versus Pool B second place will happen tomorrow morning. But the 1-1 one, one game is going tonight, and that's uh, Team Duncan versus Team Holman. So both of those uh, teams finished with four and one records, Joey, I believe? Yes, that's correct. So they are uh, playing tonight. And uh, we'd be uh, seeing, uh, seeing things progress. So we're looking forward to a couple of really good games. Our B sheet is uh, Duncan and Holman. So if you're here to follow that game, you can catch it uh, live. And just go to www.curlontv.ca. Our feature game here is, as we said, Howard versus uh, McEwen. And then the other two sheets on C, uh, D and E, sorry, are also available if you're interested in either of those two games. By all means. Joe, I'm looking forward to a, a good game here. It's uh, We've had some great fan curling. The rocks were touched up a little bit this morning, bright and early. The boys got in early and gave them a little sanding. And they're ready to go. We saw them this afternoon. They were curling pretty aggressively at points. Um, I would expect that they've calmed down a little bit by now with uh, two games gone through them. Uh, I watched the draw to the buttons. They seem pretty uh, reasonable, both teams. So we're looking forward to a really uh, good game. These two teams have uh, been out on the circuits, uh, playing different events. I looked up Team uh, Howard of the Penn Tang Machines, played 29 games on the circuit this year, uh, according to a curling, curling zone. Jerry Gertz, they got 16 wins, 13 losses. Average uh, points for is 8.86, and points against 6.24. So they're, they're uh, pretty good. So you can tell with that eight scores. And then Team uh, McEwen's played 40 games this year, and they're an even 20 and 20. And uh, their average points for is 7.55. So just a hair less. And so we're looking forward to uh, some action. We'll keep you up to date on what ha what's happening on the other sheets. And uh, enjoy the game, folks. Yeah, so we've got uh, Team Howard throwing the yellow rocks and uh, Team McEwen throwing the blue rocks. And uh, uh, Team McEwen did take the, uh, the hammer um, on the draw to the button. Yeah, I believe Team Howard was just inside top form. Team McEwen was back button. So both fairly close, but uh, So both, with, like I said, both these teams finished in the round robin at 5-0. and oh. They have a little bit of room for error. Uh, naturally, they don't want it. They're going to try and uh, carry on, right, uh, with uh, their sixth win. Um, you know, the, every lose, So top three out of these four men's teams will advance to the playoffs. They'll be eliminated. Uh, if after the two uh, draws, uh, the crossover draws, them. If after that there's two teams tied for a playoff spot, they will end up playing a tiebreaker. So we could end up with a tiebreaker tomorrow night. Um, but if uh, everything goes according to uh, perfect planning, uh, then we should have two semifinals with the women and the men playing the semifinals tomorrow night. A final uh, for the women at 10.30 on Sunday morning, followed by the men's final at 3. And then tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, we should uh, we have... Uh, Special Olympics games happening, so we're going to try and broadcast that for everybody, and I think that's a lot of fun. They're great games to watch. I've enjoyed them in my career when I first came down here and uh, got introduced to it. I was like, wow, I can't miss this. This is something else. So here we go, folks. Lead Tim March, throwing the first rock. Team Howard was deciding whether to go in or out front. This is definitely out front. Got a piece of the line for the no-tick rule. Yeah, with uh, our team playing under the no-tick rule, anybody haven't, hasn't followed us through the week, uh, that's a new rule change by the World Curling Federation. They're testing it this year at the Men's and Women's Worlds. So they'll be testing that out in the Men's Worlds in Ottawa. So Curling Canada decided they were going to implement it at the Briar and the Scotties. So the Briar in London, Scotties in Kamloops. And naturally, that drifted down to us and said, why are we going to send our teams out there without having played this much? So here we are trying it out and uh, giving it a whirl. Right 
It's been used uh, quite a bit on the slams, the series this year, the Grand Slams. And so that means for the first five rocks, if you put a rock Probably on the center line, the it cannot be off, pushed off the center line and cannot be moved. Well. Literally, it has to stay on the center line. So you can move it back a bit, but you cannot get it off the center line. If it is, it's like a virtually equivalent to a burnt rock. And um, you take it off and when you go. You gotta go away. Line's good. Line's really good. Come on, Scott. Line's perfect. That's 14 5. Line's for overkill or overkill. Let's go, keep going, keep going, keep going. I gave you that much left. Okay. Go, go. The freeze oh. attempt just a couple feet uh, Sorry, buddy. short there, but totally buried. Heavy, Mike. Yeah. Go right around it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, no, no. You're, not, you're not there. Go, go, Langer. I, I go, Langer. Like here. Okay. okay. That's all right. Pretty there good. Go. No wider. I thought he threw it better. Okay. Good. Normal here. Okay. Second, uh, David Mathers. Close. What? Nice toss. Yep. Right off the bat. Good here we shot. go. Yep. And we figured these two teams would jump right in and mix it up early. They're not, uh, either one of them is about to worry about yeah. time clocks or anything like that. No. They have uh, played enough. Good they know their out. limitations. They're going to go go for it. Ice is good. The old, like you've been talking about, Joey, the Wayne Madoth theory, right? Let's get at it while the ice is good. So uh, Brent Lang clears the center line guard and the, the catcher That's on the side. Glenn without hammer is going to try and put up a guard. Good toss, Langer. Mind just hey, even light, feeling light, if he's good here. Wait, Scott. Wait, Scott. Wait, Scott. Team Howard playing the uh, guard here. Yeah. Oh, oh. So unlike yeah. today, this oh, afternoon, oh, the only uh, no, no, no. the only yeah, game on the ice that has oh, elimination oh, oh. potentials tonight is uh, Sheet E, which is a tiebreaker between uh, Did it ever Team Harrison and Team Flaxy. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye on that. One of those teams will um, be eliminated this evening, and then the other team will move into the second position. Dave, I don't like that one at all. Gonna have to think it's a hair slower here. Board, yeah, yeah, I like it. Wait's good! Yep. Oh. Last time Team Howard played on this sheet, I don't remember what color they hit, but I remember uh, poor Dave Mathers, uh, I think he threw all eight rocks at one point through the game. He just kept getting them pushed down, and I just heard Scotty say, David, I don't like that rock uh, at all, so. Go, 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 Mikey. We might, uh, okay. we might see this uh, be oh, another. Uh, Man, that sounds dead, eh? I think that was last night, wasn't it? Nah, it's almost like it picked when it hit. Yeah. Pick, yep, picking, yep. picking. Gotta go, Tim. Really gotta go. Gotta go hard, Tim. Really hard, Tim. Go, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get that yellow out. Get that yellow out. Get over. Grab. Hey? Grab my hand a bit. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, yesterday afternoon, and uh, Team Howard threw yellow rocks yesterday afternoon, so they should really know what they've got and should have a good handle on them. Pretty good, guys. 
Back key. Life's good. Right here's Drake, guys. Try and hit the key. Ryan Fry uh, with a great sweep, boys. nice draw there. Pretty much two Head. line. Ah, great sweep. Yes, so that leaves him uh, playing two with. So uh, I, I would imagine Team Howard's going to try and hit and roll on top a bit and uh, yep. right. hopefully get a chance to right. make a double here down the road. Oh, oh, oh. Please, please, yep, please, yep, yep, yep. Maybe they're yep, playing yep. it straight up right now. Beauty. Jack Gomer. And they did. Make it look easy. We're uh, seeing some great shots right off the bat. Scotty, a.k.a. Gomer, getting the thank you and congrats. Was done with a good throw. So. Where are you going, Dad? Go to the button. This uh, rollout will give Glenn... Uh, for their yeah, opportunity to get a practice rock for so draw weight. Thanks, bud. It's what? Well, slower? Okay. If you're going to hit that piece, you would have made the slash anyway. Yeah. Felt <laughs> like a lot. Okay, room. It's in the good stuff. It's in the good stuff. <laughs> I've done that before. Stuck it around, give it to Should be a little heavy. Team McEwen, Mike's already in the hack, ready to throw. Points. He, yeah. uh, you know, they're just going to uh, literally know this is going to become a blank in unless some mistake is made. So Mike's already down here. Let's bank a few seconds, and he's uh, ready to throw. You see the same thing from Team Howard. Glenn's already three quarters of the way down the sheet. Really? Once Mike lets us go, Glenn will come in. And whoa. Whoa. They may need the time at the end of the game, so they'll uh, use the opportunity. That's not doing much, Mikey. Oh, it's not. Good throw. <laughs> Another rollout. You hear Brent say that's not curling quite as much as this afternoon. Same way. Yeah, no, more back to the way we were throwing. Just gotta throw that whole last game on our head. Yeah. Just looks like he's soft. We gotta go, guys. I don't think so. You gotta go. You really gotta go, Tim. You really gotta go, boards. Still Mine's really good, boys. Still got it. Come on, it's getting real good. It's getting real good. It's getting real good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Cheering keep to get this go, 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 go. Uh, deep as they can, but make sure they're on, yeah, which they successfully did. So. Don't just do it later, eh? It, um, I think it's gonna run that straight with the. They've been talking about it, right? They practice yeah, um, the draws only, so suddenly field, you have to throw down the center line. You got to adjust and. Remember what you threw with your first practice rock, so you can just because that's basically what it is. It's so we're doing this right. There's some yeah. theories that they'd like us to drag rocks, um, but you know what? When you get right down to it, if they ran out of pebble in the tenth end, they'd be upset that we dragged rocks. So no matter what we do, we can't win. It's just we need to get used to that, uh, Joey. It's uh, pretty common. Mike just going through his regular long time yep. routine. Yep. Saw something in front of him on the ice, so he picked it. So that uh, when he picked it up, he stepped away and just took his time to reset. That's a sign of uh, good end, boys. a good player. And you see that in golf, especially where they have a, you know they teach you how to uh, have a pre-shot routine. Don't deviate from it. Um, same idea here in curling, right? You step in the hock, make sure you square to the target. 
yeah. throw it away, so. Thinking about a home renovation? Castle Building Centers will make your home renovation plans a reality. Whether you're starting to build from scratch or just adding on, Castle is the best place to start. Visit your local Castle store for the best products, value, and service, and for all your building material needs. Castle Building Centers is a proud sponsor of the 2023 Ontario Scotties and Ontario Tankard in Fort Elgin. Visit your local Castle Building Center or go to castle.ca to find a dealer near you. So it was a blank on the Team Fournier Epping game in the first end. So uh, Team Epping continues to hold the hammer into the second. In the Duncan game, Team Holman was forced to one. So they took their one. So they have a one nothing lead over Team uh, Duncan. And the first end is just concluding on sheet E in our uh, women's tiebreaker. Uh, looks like... Thinking of blank. Um, yeah, go, go, go. Uh, really curl, yes, it go, is a blank. Go, go, so like blank go, and go, Team go, Duncan like maintains hammer. Or sorry, Team oh, Inglis maintains hammer going into the second. Team Howard does have the uh, center line guard much higher than they, they want it. And really with the amount of curl that rock is uh, not of much cover in reality. Both teams are identifying that that uh, yellow seven rock is a, a dog as they like to call it. So um, and they both are saying laughing about it so they know it. Um, unfortunately, I think Mr. Mathers will be throwing that for the rest of the night. That's good, no. Whoa, whoa. Pretty back, Dave. Yep, yep, yep. 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 This one's going. Really hard, Dave. Ooh, that made a Wait, big good. move. Hard, Dave. You've got to go hard. hard yep. You've got to go hard. Stripper got by and did not. That's lots of weight. You did. Just I guess it curled. Oh, it's near impossible. Well, nobody called hard half an hour feet. Yeah, that one caught uh, Team Howard by, by surprise. Called here and they're trying to bounce. Both rocks and uh, fairly even, so. That guard being so long, it doesn't. Uh, I think Mike yeah. can get to it from either side. Yep. They should be able to throw a hack at this and get past it, roll, curl past the guard, and, and actually roll back to where they were just a second ago. Not over 
curl caught them yeah, again. Yeah, they um, trying to decide on what that was going to do, but uh, he hung around. So <laughs> yeah, that line's caught both teams. Try to make the double like normal. Or really, really finishing hard there. The top. Normal. Solid. Solid. No. Really heavy. Nice. Really heavy. So they called it. just normal, and Scott's saying it's uh, yep, yep, a little heavier than they wanted. But they're just going to. Yep, yep. All right, let's get to the here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. That's We've noticed uh, all week, you know, when you uh, up the weight just a little bit, it will track. It won't move much. Joey Hart being encouraged to try and drag this as far over as he can. And a pretty good piece of it. And that's, uh, that's some good sweeping right there. I'm just going to roll out. I like farm. Glenn's going to hit this mainly because, uh, well, the secondary reason is the yellow again is so high. Yeah, if that might have been a little bit uh, six feet close to the rings, I wouldn't be surprised if he'd have tried to come around it. Harder, Tim. Harder. Well, it sticks around. Yep. Mission accomplished. Right on the nose by Ryan Fry. Same way. Yeah. Pretty clean end here. Yeah, we expect this in a game of this magnitude where these guys want to maintain that record. They're going to they'll pick their spots when it's uh, be aggressive early in the end, and then if it's uh, not working, they just bail. And The hitting ability of these teams at this level, no rock is safe. Big carrot at the end of the crossovers right to the final. Oh, so. Yeah, that's, that's the ultimate. You'll be number one. And then you uh, have a chance to uh, d go directly to the finals, and then you uh, whoa, get to rest whoa, while the other whoa, team whoa. is uh, has to play a semi. Tim, 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 Tim. You gotta go. Really got to go. No. This looks like it's, it's a hit and roll out. Yeah, so we're going to test that high guard right here. Langer. Rip. Yeah. Unanimous. Yeah. Rip it. Wasn't even a thought about coming to see you do that. He's just going to follow you.
yeah, yeah, that didn't help. Freezing right to the. Joey Hurt can't do any wrong sometimes, yeah. right? So, yeah. Out of his hand, uh, Ryan yelled, "Yep!" So Joey dumped it, and uh, Mike, Mike kind of said, "No, an easy, easy, Joe." So uh, they were laughing. So I think uh, Mike knew he threw it and tossed it a little, and Ryan didn't see it, so he uh, backed him off. And they were laughing. So Glenn's gonna try and freeze her and see if he can uh, force. Line's good. Okay, just get it in the house. Get it in the house. Fully in, boys. Fully in. Fully in. Fully in. It is pro. Where did that one? Oh, that's that three rock. I don't know. No. Ryan trying to uh, put something in Glenn's head. He goes, "Oh, is that that three rock?" So these guys know each other well, but they'll. Uh, Lots of rocks in play on uh, sheet D between uh, Fournier and Epping. Another blank here in our sheet, so 0-0 uh, zero, zero after two. We'll go to commercial and then uh, see you on the, for the third end. Nephew's number one fan. Holiday and Express. We're there so you can be too. And we're back in Port Elgin on sheet C, the 1 1 game in the crossovers. Two blank ends. Rock shuffling continues, so I think uh, Glenn has uh, punted his two rocks, and Scotty said, mine are good, so you can have mine. And, and then they turned to Dave and said, okay, which dogs are you getting? So. <laughs> and the complaint about him not making shots, and they'll go, yeah, well, I got more rocks on this set. What do you want me to do here? Uh, it's uh, it, These teams do this constantly. They read the rocks and figure them out. Everybody has their preferences. That does not go in the house, that is super slow. You're probably on the button. You're really coming out. Yeah, make it good then. You got to really got to go. I like hitting it. Get it fully in. I'll go, I'll go. Looks like you're actually with that. Team mm -hmm. McEwen trying to hit and roll out to the wings. In the uh, women's 1 1 game, uh, Team Duncan scored one in the second to tie it up, uh, one apiece after two. Second ends are just coming to conclusion on uh, our other two sheets, D and E. I'll bring you up to date as soon as they're over. Oh, the, the app over here. Still there, Dave. Isn't it? I'm good. Group. 
gotta go wait too. Come on, Dave, go, you gotta go, bud. You gotta go harder, Dave, you gotta go harder. Harder. Come on, quite the center line. Definitely feel the uh, atmosphere is uh, quite different tonight. Uh, the crowd waiting for the first big uh, shot or turn of events. Yeah, for sure. And quite a few more people at the back of the sheet tonight. I see the organized back there. A solid crowd in the stands. I, you know, we're probably in the seven, eight hundred range right now. Capacity's just under 1,100. Shade light. Wait good. Wait good. Wait good. Got to curl a ton. Got to curl a ton. Close. Oh, my oh, close. Got a bit. He had it out there. Pretty gradual, Langer. This row was actually quite a little bit of weight. So on uh, sheet D, Team Epping scored one with Hammer. So they uh, in the second. So they're up one nothing. Wait, wait, and then sheet E in the uh, tiebreaker game, Team Inglis scored two with a Hammer in the second to take a two nothing lead over Team Harrison. Team Harrison uh, sans Jacqueline Harrison. Uh, she's gone down. Her she went down early in the season with an injury and. Uh, was unable, but they kept their name for uh, sponsorship purposes and whatnot. But uh, they're being skipped uh, by Allison Floxy, who's uh, a well-known name in the area. She's been around for a while. Yeah. Well, Allie's uh, married to Caleb Floxy, who uh, was on the gold medal team for Team Jacobs. And he's uh, coaching Brad Gushu this year. He coaches Brad Gushu. Air last. Yep. Not much, though. Wait's good. You got Allison lots. You got lots to wait. Whoa. Won a grand slam. Yep. Uh, yep. Caleb from the Sioux, he's Whoa. part of the Jacobs team when they first formed. Threw lead for them for shot, I think it's going to sit right where you put it, going off of the way Mikey did. I think it's going to actually fall a hair. Looks like it made a hard jump at the end. So set it on, set it on seven eighths, I think you'll be good. I don't hate that. I think we can chase. He goes. He goes. So by going to the open side, Team Howard has uh, basically said we're going to try and force you. Okay. Um, I expect to see a bunch of hits, and hopefully, uh, you know, if nobody rolls out, then we should see a blank. Um, the mistake here would be a hit and roll out, which. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Glenn, Glenn is pretty much always been by committee as are most of the teams now. I just don't know if you can go anywhere without them being able to chase it. Tons of weight. That's fine. They're really far apart. I just thought it was a double there. That's more than I want to throw. I heard Brent come back and say it was 14-1, which has been pretty consistent. 14 to 14.5 has been pretty consistent for draw weight out here this week. I do exactly what I do. We're not expecting this to curl much. Ryan with the yep. delivery. Yep. 
I'm gonna try and tuck this and right draw. underneath them. Yep, 100%. Biggest problem is they know on this ice right now, there's not much anywhere where they can hide. There's, um, they, I think with hack weight, Glenn could probably get to the nose of this rock. Mm -hmm. I called heavy out of his hand Harder, and Tim. Harder. Tim sort of Harder. jumped on it right away and then uh, held it out. So they're saying the rock just jumps. So we'll keep an eye. We saw it earlier this afternoon. Uh, team uh, Epping was drawing and they went by a center line guard and finished almost to the outside edge of the eight foot. So on this same path that they just threw type of thing. So we'll keep an eye, see what's uh, going on. Trying to get underneath. Great. Pretty cool uh, to see uh, father and son playing together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Glenn's daughter on the, on the women's yeah, side qualified and is moving into the crossover. Like She's waiting ball. for the uh, winner of the. Uh, Inglis Harrison game. They'll be playing tomorrow morning, bright and early. I think so, yeah, it looks good. Perfect roll by Glenn, right and fully undercover. Again, we did say that uh, we think they can get to this rock, maybe not right to the nose, but probably get uh, two thirds of it, even though it's fully buried. Yeah, that's why I'm almost thinking you're in the position after make that slice. I think you're running it. Yeah, I don't like the draw. Like I go here. He's gonna get a run back here. Looks comfy there talking about if they make it, they're gonna make it twice because Glenn will just put it right back. So the run gives them a chance here to score multiple points. Pop out in the open, but it's going to roll right out. So I'll anticipate Glenn uh, coming right around. No, I totally agree. That's where I would put it. So Team Howard went to uh, this button. side, which yep. we think is actually the curly side, but they're worried the other side over curls. So, I'm worried about the out -turn over curling. yeah, so he's talking about the out turn over curling and what our experience was this afternoon, the in turn over curled. Probably looking to go top four. I would say yes. And then Mike will have a decision to make as to, does he draw against the two? He pretty much guarantee he won't throw a run back, but you never know. Okay, well then, air broom it then, air 
Red room. Right off. Line's good. Room. Room. Curl. Curl. Thought curl, it was curl, hand curl, was a little curl. heavy, but now curl. they're saying not really curl. heavy. So curl and go, boys. Curl and now go. they're trying to straight, grind straight, it over. Straight. Which they've achieved. You can see the curl here. It's keep pretty going, constant. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to get this to uh, right, pretty much where they wanted. Mike is uh, going to draw the pin against two here. He needs to be full four. He's a little wider than what Glenn was, so you need to be careful of the path out here. It might be a little fresher. They haven't played a lot of rocks out this wide. Watching this, they're uh, You're just getting to have get to the four foot here. They peeled up. The sweepers have pulled the brooms, and uh, Scott's pounded it past. So uh, that'll be a steal of one for Team Howard mm -hmm. here in the third. So uh, Team Glenn Howard takes a one nothing lead over yeah. Team uh, McEwen. Even though I just gotten a new job that paid well, I still wanted to be prepared for the unexpected. My Sun Life advisor encouraged me to do three things. Get health coverage, start paying back debt, and build a safety net. When I got my cancer diagnosis, my advisor had already helped me become debt-free with enough set aside for emergencies. When I took time off, I didn't worry about my finances so I could focus on getting better. Today, I'm in remission. Want to get started on your story? Let's get you there. We're back. Team Howard with a steal there. Glenn's calling for a tight center guard. He had thought about going in. Scott trying to drag this to the center line. Successful. Yep. It's important. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, 225 right on the PFI on the broom. Yeah. It actually went further than I thought it would. Little Mike. Team McEwen going to set up a corner guard and game on here. Yeah, lots of rocks in play. Glenn coming around. Top four. Wait good, gotta go. Wait good. Does not need to curl. So they know this rock will Wait, curl, so curl. they've Wait, watched it, so it's just a matter of weight control now. No curl. I don't want it up the other side. No, no, no. Oh boy, Timmer. Dude, shot Timmer. Oh my god, that smile. I don't like this. They're gonna double gun us. That's a seven? Oh yeah. Mike's gonna use his uh, blue corner that he put up. Yeah. 
Just looking over in sheet D, and I, I think that uh, Team Fournier scored in that end. I'm just uh, going to update you as soon as the scores go up. <coughs> on sheet E, Team Harrison scores one with the hammer in the third to uh, get down 2-1 to Team Inglis. With Inglis, Simon Haver going to the fourth. That's our tiebreaker game. One of those two teams will be eliminated this evening. The loser of that game... Uh, Gets to go home. Still a couple of rocks to come in the uh, home and Duncan game uh, in, she, in the third end. So, like to go, like to go, like to go. Feature game here. We see Team Howard trying to uh, really corner go. freeze to a rock in the in the um, Line's really good. Get it here. edge of eight. Line's perfect. If you get it here, you got to get it here. You got to get it here. Curl it, curl it. No, they want the curl. No curl, no curl, no curl. All right. Good shot. Yeah. Sure. Tim March dragging that a long way, <laughs> getting the workout already. Yeah, I think they would have liked, but if, you know, honestly, if they uh, drag it all the way to the, the rock, it's probably not shot. Mm -hmm. So. Like running it this way? Might be the best I could have got out of that rock. Really? shot anymore I don't think Has to be. no That's it's got to be yellow shot I think yep who shot we're still shot okay yeah so. well come around top four the most I would think After uh, three ends. Don't need to for weight. Tight. Whoa. Kind of blocked out right now, and the all there. ladies all are there. having their uh, team meeting. But uh, Let's stop. I, think it's kind of I see that uh, score is three-one. It looks like Team Duncan stole to that end, so they're leading three-one after three. Team Howard came a hair deep, I think. So. This gives Mike McEwen an opportunity to throw just through the ring, just through the ring's weight to up to hack at the most and Yeah, this, this is crashing the guard already. I don't know what happened to that rock, but that's a... Glenn just asking Tim to take a little extra look and make sure. 
So I think he's confirmed that it's yellow in, in his eyes also. So that's confirmation. I think uh, Ryan was just getting a little concerned with the number of yellows hanging around and uh, you know they were going to give Glenn another chance to put another one in there if they go around and leave it a piece yeah. open at all. So they can try the hit and roll right in front of the uh, rock on the button. hit hit and roll yeah, I would imagine Glenn will try the same shot hit and roll it will put him in the top eight to lie three without the hammer Glenn's just yeah. choosing a weight here normal, Scott. That last one was firm, though. normal yeah So obviously Tim. breaking quick. Big Tim March on it, trying to hold it for him. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't quite take it far enough. No. Can we roll over here, Mike? Double and. Uh, Double in uh, Vic Router's favorite shot where the rock will go back up. I like the out, Ryan. Out with firm. I'm going to try and hit the outside rock first and hit into the uh, rock on the edge button and roll up a little bit. But, you know, it's got to be pretty firm to react that way, but uh, Ryan can throw it. Joey to hold it. And there you go. Just like that. Great shot. Interesting. The yellow is still second and third. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah. Glenn's going to attempt the intern. So you can see that rock's completely buried, but they're planning on throwing hack and feel they can get to the inside third of the rock a bit more, we enjoy. Yeah. Seems like the uh, any rock on the T line they can get to, anything top four is kind of not able to. This one here has been yep. really going. Whoa. Whoa. Dave, 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 so they're go calling it heavy, so they're going to uh, carve Harder. this over. Harder! Harder! Uh, we successful at uh, movement, but it was a bit more weight than they wanted, so they didn't uh, get the finish they were looking for. Somewhere close we'll in there, Mikey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it should be close, bud. 
It's gotta get full eight. Can go here too. I don't like that. Well, that's the only other shot. I don't like going to the corner. To what, like? Yeah, he picks it. Thinking if they, oh, yeah. They're thinking if they could freeze, it might be hard. I know, that's just such a fucking hard shot, man. <laughs> like right to here. Yeah, if you make a perfect freeze, if you, yeah. I don't see that, I don't see us getting picked up then. I think the only way you're getting a deuce is to there. It's to here, yeah. Wow. It is. So it's, uh, right, yeah, it could come pick which one of the hardest shots like you like. We got more chance so. if we're right up here. I think the one Mike is right there. Top four, yeah. just touching yeah. top four right there. Yeah. So they've uh, they've looked at the situation and they're just going to try and draw top four fully buried. And that seems to be again the place that uh, you can't quite access yeah, or move it enough. Play. Yeah, with a, you know, number two semi-tight guard, it's a little bit extra room that they don't uh, have to play with the rock when it's in the top four compared to uh, on the button or two line. Trying to, they're gonna, this will curl. Way over curl. This is gonna curl for sure, so they wanna get a buy and then probably yeah, stop because it's gonna curl. Get shot. Just worry about getting shot. Hard jump. Hard jump. Just a little light. Gotta go. Hair light. Yeah, maybe a little compensation from the steel end. Yeah. When he was a little deep, he's, he's a curler. Just adjust a little bit too much. They got the second shot, so. Okay, Mikey, he had it right here. Gives Glenn the opportunity to come. Right. Yeah, forces in play here right now. Yep. Hey, it looks square. Definitely squared it. Glenn liked it out of his hand. Line's good. Run like it's hot. Line's good. Get ready, Timmer. Tim. 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 No, they're going to ask Tim to uh, get all over it and Come on. get it to curl and Come on, finish hard. You want to go right here? Right Once up there. Keep there you go. So I predict a uh, draw for one here for Team McKeon. Mm hmm. Mission, uh, I know. Yep. mission accomplished for Team Howard. Yep, and comes Force a would, uh, step is not an issue. Again, here comes the skip's job to uh, draw that forefoot. Um. Yeah, I didn't see it's got to be Howard. Same way with a better shot. A 1 1 tie on uh, sheet D. I think uh, we just saw a blank uh, by uh, Team Upping to retain Hammer. I will confirm that as soon as the score goes up, but I believe that was the call. I see Team uh, Fournier uh, getting in the hack, so that's my uh, belief. 
Our sheet here, we see the draw coming in. The boys are uh, keeping an eye on it. They're a little concerned, but not only really. here they go. So solid draw for one right to the lid for uh, Team McEwen and uh, ties the game up at one after four. You're here for the tool you need in your perfect color. You're here to fuel your passion and be inspired by something new. You're looking for something specific, or maybe nothing in particular. Whatever you're here for, we're here for you. Your local source for premium kitchenware, gourmet food, and more. Welcome back. We are uh, start of the fifth end here. Team McEwen uh, probably going to throw a guard. I'm going to guess. I, I, you know, it's uh, getting to that point in the end with these guys with the ability they have. They're going to start uh, being here more aggressive. So. You can confirm the uh, blank in the uh, fourth for Team Hepping. So Team Hepping retains a hammer into the fifth. Tied 1-1 one, one with Team Fournier in what we're calling the two versus two game. Um, looking over on sheet E, uh, Team Inglis scored two with hammer in the fourth and they've taken a 4-1 lead. Over Fourth ends just completing. I think there's two more, maybe two or three more rocks to come on uh, on that end. So we'll update that score as soon as it is between Team Holman and Team uh, Duncan. That is the ladies 1 1 game, women's 1 1. Go, Dave, go. You got to fully cross the center line. Just clean, just clean, just clean, just clean. Good job, Timmer. Lock it on, Joe. Freeze attempt, get a whole bunch of rocks going here. That guard's not on the center line, so can be moved. Tim March being asked to uh, move the back rock about a foot. So that'll move it into the back four and maybe make a path to get it, get the blue rock out of there eventually. No, you got the way. Just line. So they're yelling for Dave to. Now they're. Uh, oh, wait's fine. Wait's fine. Wait's fine. I'm just saying they didn't need to carve it, yeah, which we've seen all day. Yeah, actually overcurled just slightly. Weight was perfect. Coming in here, that. Uh, yeah, right in the nose, So. Pretty nice, he knows that. Yeah. Get rid of that beeping. No, just make up. Just go, Dave. You can't make One of the no. uh, players of stopwatches was beeping. Like a ticking time bomb, so. Uh, took care of it. 
Rachel trying to come a, uh, off in for at least one. It looks like one yellow, which uh, will leave Team Duncan leading 3-2 after four. The way those rocks uh, bounced out, uh, that blue naturally goes right onto the yellow on the back, the back of the button. So. Yeah, the angles just didn't set up very well. This is a. Uh, this is hit it anywhere, and it's going right on that yellow. Calling for. Back eight, wait. Which can be a tricky wait because you always hear T line or back line Wait's or good. pack when you start getting into the <laughs> back eight weights. It's not as common. Working this one pretty hard here. Uh, made it. Uh, you tap that yellow, buddy. That's juicy. Can you not just hit like three quarters with back eight, back twelve? Yep. That's real good. Yeah. Lynn's original call was peeled, but uh, Scotty yelled down and said, you know, can we hit it with back eight, back 12? And Dave, you, went, you know what, that's a really good call. So lots of communication on this team back and forth about line, about calls. And uh, like you said, tends to be a skip by committee at times. That's really tight. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, no, that's better. Come back line weight. Got to make some noise here. It's not uh, plan B. You happen to move that blue off, Wait, good. that blue guard. Yep. Fine. Yep. Yep. Hard, Tim. Hard. Hard, Tim. Harder, Tim. Well, yep, 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 yep. And he's on the top. And just, uh, which is uh, open it up. Good wait. And that was always the tolerance. Hit this. Yep. Where the club curler might no. sail it wide. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, yeah these players play the tolerance. They know uh, to get that to there. they're not aiming to miss, like but they know uh, you know like you can't chuck it out. You got to be. Which might have been yeah. Glenn's actual Go first choice. Forward. Just to open it up a bit. He put, uh, Glenn put the ice down and, and played it tight. And uh, the team felt it was tight ice, but they thought, well, the tolerance is there, so it's not the end of the world, which is what they did. Mike, just straight wide? What do you guys see? For a better result than that. Did I make both loose? No. No. No, there's not any separation. They, they try to make both blues. They're going to actually uh, hit the run their own. So, so they're going to play a hit and roll here, and which was uh, Glenn's first call. Hit that blue roll over uh, into the middle of the eight foot. Big roll. Harder. Good spot there for uh, Team Howard. And all of a sudden we've got uh, 
One lonely blue in there. Three against one, yes. That's uh, not a comfortable feeling right now for Team McEwen. That's why you see they're sort of drifting down to take a look. And a little discussion here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We just stuff it and make the double. Well, gotta hope it riddles off. Like, what else do you see? Dead nose? We gotta make a call regardless. I'm worried about Brent as if, if you roll like to here and then he can get this. No, I don't either. If he knows that. Just throw, throw a running there. If he knows that uh, yellow at the top of the four. You like that? I just don't know what the difference is between chasing or running. I'm okay with this. That's what I mean. Like, this is okay. Chase that, Mike. Chase it. Yeah. Hack? Yeah, solid hack. Okay. Key to this shot is making sure the blue stays around. Mike's. That looks like a lot. So the decision was to chase instead of run. Um, they're uh, throwing a nice little hack waiter here, trying to drift it off. They've got good. And that's rolled a little further than they want it. Almost the, uh, the call, but it's just okay. I don't think he will, but he could See what Glenn that. chooses okay. to do here. He's make it again. I'm awful. You don't want to go there. Oh yeah. Mike guard that. Oh no, this hit that. Yeah, yeah. No, he's thinking this. Hit this. Oh, I just don't want to go there. Not loving that. But it's not awful. He definitely has. Uh, Raymond knows it's okay, isn't it? He just don't want to go there, dude. Like, what if I hit on the nose this way? Then he runs it, but it's. Right? Team Howard trying to figure out how they uh, the two, the two, carry actually. everything. They want to uh, score their deuce here. Fifth end. And you might be guarding that. I know. It's four rocks to, five rocks to come yet, so. He's mm. not going to guard if you do this. Is it silly to throw it really, really hard and hit it? Turn it up? That might make a closing. No. No. Then my shooter might be like here. Not bad. What about nut nut? That's what I thought. Nut nut. Nut nut. Leave it right there. Okay. What kind of weight? Normal. So, Joey, what do you see? They're going to play the run on the uh, yellow into the um, yeah. top blue? They are, but they've got to cross the, n the nose. They can't, cannot hit it on the outside. Whoa, whoa. Outside would be bad. Right out of his hand, they yelled, whoa. So, they're getting Tim to try and rock this over a little bit to get it to nose, but not I think they've hit it the side that you the said up. they can't do it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So... It's not all bad. No, not terrible. Not blue, blue is still shot. Mike. Scotty oh. being brutally honest there and just said uh, yeah, throw, so but it worked out good. So he's aware that he didn't uh, throw it exactly yeah. as he was hoping. That, how's that look to you? Like even in the here, right there is pretty good. 
And McEwen's going to try and uh, eliminate the yellow rock and move into the uh, top button position. Last stone coming on sheet D. John's playing a short run back in the rings for what looks like at least two. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. So they'll head into the fifth end yep. break, I believe, with Epping having a 3 1 lead. Whoa, whoa. On our sheet. Girl. Little hack. Girl, 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 girl. Hit and roll here. Uh, just All rolled right. a little too far. They were trying to roll the button. They needed that to come up a little more. So, looks like it did hold on for third it is shot. Third shot, I believe. Oh. So, yeah. just in time. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Man, that's really hard to believe that wouldn't curl in there. No, Can we just get a blank? That might go. Also, might jam. I think they're talking about hitting that blue and yeah, trying to make the double. I think Joey and uh, they'll burn the blow theirs out. And, uh, it's it's probably gonna jam. No, if you hit it low. Oh, it, do it doesn't jam, boys. You like so? You hit it right in the nose. It hits here. No. No. That's yeah, that's what I like. That's that's Cool players out here trying to figure out the angles. Peel. peel. So they're going to ask Glenn yeah. to throw peel. That. If you ever go over top and he makes the hit and roll and you're playing the blank. Glenn with the uh, oh, yep. whoa, whoa. peel wait for a 60-year-old man is probably uh, six and seven seconds compared to uh, most of this team being closer to uh, five, <laughs> five and a half. There you go. And it's still pretty good. He's throwing a wall. You know? He is throwing it so So he uh, did jam on the back. Scott thought it would go over top, but I don't think they hit it exactly where they wanted to. So... Um, I think so. I think it's just as hard as this hit. Try and bury just an inch. Again, Glenn, 19-time uh, champion. And uh, McEwen going to draw around. 19 times, yes, for sure. And uh, only lift delivery here in Port Elgin this week. Correct. So Team McEwen going to, they figure it's easier to draw around the uh, rock in the rings. Uh, compared to just playing the hit and, and forcing Glenn that way, they're going to get around behind and see if they can uh, try and get Glenn. I think the front end's a little. Front end's confused. They're worried about him, so they're trying to get everybody to move move along here. So. in our women's tiebreaker looks like a um, steal of two for team Inglis in the fifth end and they'll take a six to one lead into the uh, to the sixth so mission accomplished for team McEwen uh, I don't think they have much choice so team Howard's gonna go over and uh, set it up for a draw to the forefoot full four fight a four will uh, get them their single and uh, they'll take a two one lead into the uh, the fifth end break. Yeah, for Team McEwen, that was a much safer call. Yeah. I like the draw there. Yeah. You? 
Yeah, it would force us to make the run, obviously, but. That felt real good. Glenn again likes it right out of his hand. Yeah, so boys are working it. They're going to keep it fairly in. solid clean. Looks like you really got to go, boys. Looks like they've got to really work this. Go. Really got to go, boys. Mark's got to get to a bite to the dig, four. Dig, 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 dig. Got and they've successfully swept it. So, uh, as Victor, that was a one for uh, Team Howard, and they'll take a two to one lead into the fifth end break. The Roaring Game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tangard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. When you push out, get the rock in front of you, okay? And as you push out, just try and keep that left foot under your body as best you can. And if you want to put, put a little weight on that, use it as like, we're not trying to make shots here. Good job. That was impressive. This is going to be easy. So you need to sweep in front of the rock. Make sure you bend at the waist. Okay, guys, let's give this a whirl. Remember what Kate said. Bend at the waist, sweep in front of the rock. Enjoy the luxury of your own personal spa and make time with family amazing. Swim, exercise, relax, and play with all the benefits of a hot tub and pool in one unit. Arctic Spa's all-weather pools are the original and only pools specifically built for year-round use. Industry-leading quality and technology combine to deliver extremely low running costs compared to traditional pools. Now, owning a pool in any climate finally makes sense. You deserve it. ArcticSpaSouthampton.ca There's a lot more to curling than just watching the game. Hear the athletes. Feel the energy. Cheer on Team Canada. Don't miss the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Get your tickets at curling.ca. Welcome back, everyone, to the Plex. Um, 
Just finishing up the one. There's about a minute left to in the fifth end break. So um, Team Howard taking a two to one lead after five. Uh, in the um, Holman uh, Duncan one one game, Team Holman scored uh, took a steal of two in the fifth uh, to take a four three lead. Both the other uh, games are in the uh, oh uh, they started the six. Team uh, Inglis in the tiebreaker has a six to one lead. Um, the loser of that game will be eliminated, and the um, Winner will advance to play Team Carly Howard in the morning in the 2-2 game, Joey. And uh, Team Epping and Team uh, Fournier is a 3-1 lead. Keeping after five with Fournier holding the hammer. So, brings you up to date. Fifth and mop, so we'll see if it goes a couple extra feet as a result. That's been my experience, uh, Joey, up to the fifth end. Normally you see it just a hair sl slightly quicker. Um, I was corrected when I said that earlier with Mary. She said when they were at the end, it wasn't. So she's thrown a lot more rocks in her career uh, than I, so I'll default to her. But uh, my experience has always been the mop makes it just a hair quicker. you got to be careful. When Mary speaks, I just shake my head. <laughs> yes. Correct. So we have the center line guard in the no-tick zone for Team Howard. They're going to try and come around it. McEwen's put up the corner. And they'll try and generate their two by using the corner. Yeah, so far the first team to get a two or more is two or a steal. Yeah. Tight. They can't uh, afford to touch the guard. They got to keep that guard uh, on the center line. They can touch it. They just can't move them off center line. So it didn't uh, get off. So they're fine. It worked out. Worked out well. And still got the freeze. Yeah. Mike said he left it just a hair too long. They should have jumped it maybe a hair earlier. Glenn is asking uh, David Mathers to freeze right in again. Like to go a bit, top eight. Yep. 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 Just talking to uh, our senior ice tech here, Scotty Muir, out of the Mississauga Golf and Country Club. He was uh, telling me, asking me to say hi to uh, all the members of the club. He's expecting uh, a bunch to show up tomorrow uh, to watch the game, so should be interesting. Scotty hosted us, uh, Scott and Janet Murphy hosted us uh, two years ago. Might have been last fall. Time flies. Uh, for the club championship, and they did a great job. That was two years ago. It was two falls ago. They did a fantastic job. Really good job hosting, and the curlers were happy and enjoyed being uh, part of that club.
Joe, I'm going to go on a limb here and say somebody's going to score in this end. But then with their hitting ability, <laughs> a bunch of granite should, could disappear in a hurry if it gets to that point. We've seen that happen. Go all go. No, hey, he not going to play uh, half a rock with no. I, I kind of like that. All go. Oh. Here we go. Yep. 100%. Dave Mathers, who looked like he's throwing a draw, and the rock will be flying out of his hand. Yeah. Very powerful leg drive. Go, go, stop, stop. Go, it's going, you're moving it, you're moving it. Dave got just a hair wide on his slide there, and he knew out of, the, out of his hand he yelled for Scott to go right away. I think we're two. We're two. This is a natural double, though. I love this. You got one job, dude. Split it. Going after this? Yeah. Well, yep. I heard somebody say that oh, touched the phone, no, so. Yep. Hard. Wait, real good. Hard. Back 12. Hard. Hard, yo. Hard, yo. Hard, yo. For sure? Yeah. So we're just confirming uh, that the yellow rock touched the phone, so they just want to make sure Glenn wasn't. He looked back at everybody, and we all went, I don't know. So, almost as good as you can do, man. Third. Yeah. Richard went to his phone and took a look at yeah. the YouTube feed and went, "Yeah, it did." So, you got something going, anyways. So Keel Wade here. A little bit out, go. trying to trying move it. to carve this over, but I'm afraid. Oh, my shot! That's good. Huh? That's not something you see. Just gotta keep it so they can't roll and make get second, right? Where you going around this one? Yeah, that's the choice. It's here, or we just go here right now. Hey. I like this. I, I don't think so, Mike, then. Yeah. Let's just try and keep it short. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So if he rolls, we're, we're lying too. Yeah, let's go. Team McEwen's going to watch the uh, time clocks. They've uh, used up a bunch of time. They're down to 15 minutes for, for uh, four and a Four and a couple of horns and a couple of rocks. They're not in terrible trouble, but uh, they're not going to want to fool around too, too much. Also, they have to get a, a clean end in here somewhere along the way, probably, and bank some time. Good sweep, boys. All right, so. Great sweep. Yeah. McEwen, Most, line, uh, McEwen line four here, all yeah. spread out. Most made shots uh, are team shots, right? So the uh, front end swept uh, that rock. Yeah, and if the wor it works, I can always do that. Yeah, so let's run that one. Double? Like third? Uh, uh, well, pretty thin, isn't it? Like half as close, so a little thinner than half. Go to third. Yeah. You can always make the other double over. Find the easy. Scott, you being asked to uh, try whoa, the double yep, here. Yep. Whoa, whoa, yep. Yep, whoa, 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 whoa,
They were all not going to roll out, but they had to eliminate a few rocks here and see what happens. It was a great shot. Scott came back and uh, made the next one. Probably going to see another double attempt here. Yeah. At least hit and roll close and try and, you know, group them up so there's an opportunity for a double in his next shot. Definitely going for the double, but uh, depending on the line. Just them. a little at the end, yeah. The, um, you know, so. Yeah. Looking over at sheet D, we see that Team Fournier scored one in the sixth end. Uh, so they are now um, uh, I it might come up a bit. down three to two. Epping yep. carrying hammer into the seventh. Looking at the uh, one one game on uh, sheet B between Holman and. Uh, Duncan, after a steal of two in the fifth, uh, Team Holman is lying to with the two staggered guards. Um, Holly Duncan throwing her first rock of the end. She's uh, going to have to clean something up here. The and all these games can be seen on uh, curlontv.ca. Uh, we have uh, our leaderboard and everything up to date there. So if you're uh, looking to... Uh, Enjoy some of the action tonight gonna at home. Curl, boys. You can pick your pleasure. Gonna curl. Gonna curl a long way. No, no, it doesn't need to curl. No, it is going to curl. <laughs> Ryan was saying it's going to curl, and Mike's going, it doesn't need to curl. He goes, no, it's going to curl, whether we like it or not. So, good shot. One's curious if he can make the double on the outside. And uh, what double, Tim? What double? I think so. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I give me a roll in with that one. Yeah. Throw it clean though. Yeah. I'm thinking board. Will it curl up with board? That's the only concern. Ooh, that's in there pretty good. So Gold has decided go he's hack. going to uh, play go hack. about a hack weight uh, shot here. He's going to get uh, try to over curl it a little bit. He wants to hit and roll and eliminate that. Yep. Blue Rock on the outside by uh, staying in the full 12. And uh, hopefully far enough over that uh, Team McEwen yeah. won't be able to go at it, so they'll be able to draw for their two. He'll concede the two, but uh, is trying to avoid the three-banger. see if Dave can carve this over far enough. They're by the guard by a few inches. So very successful shot. So um, exactly what they called. The Wizard of Winter. So Ryan uh, there's no fool around. He put the broom down right away and said, uh, let's just draw. We get two. Yep. <laughs> that was a massive shot. And then uh, Ryan just come over as he was looking at it and said, nice shot. Uh, dumb ASS to uh, Glenn, who uh, chuckled. 
So um, respect amongst the two teams here. You know, when they make good shots, they're going to congratulate each other. And so a draw for two here for uh, Mike McEwen. Out of the hand, Mike said it's light, so the boys uh, put their heads down and started pounding on it. Really curling. Ryan's jumping out to a warm up path up. If they can drag it, they got to get this uh, almost a bite of the eight foot. I'm not sure if it's get far enough. No. Um, so the single for Team McEwen ties the game up after six two two. Some things can only be experienced in person. Hear the athletes. Feel the excitement. Celebrate the shots. And see the plays the cameras don't. Don't miss the Tim Hortons Briar, presented by AGI. Get your tickets at curling.ca. Let's go, Mikey. So welcome back, everyone. Uh, so Mike just coming up a little late with that draw. He called it out of his hand. He called it out of his hand um, that he was light. The boys pounded it all the way. So um, see what happens here and going forward. So 2-2 two -two tie after six, playing the seventh. I didn't see what happened on sheet, um, Sheet B, but I'm uh, believing it was a steal again just because Team Holman's lining up to throw the first stone. So as soon as we get the numbers, we'll get that uh, up for you so you, you see what's going on. Top 14. Bit of a surprising miss there by Skip McEwen, but uh, Coach Richard Hart came over and uh, reminded them that they are tied and they still have the hammer. So Correct, yeah. He said... Uh, 2-2, two, two, you know, let's go. Team, How team uh, Howard having the hammer here in the seventh after the one score for Team McEwen. Rogue, Rogue right now, way out there. Throw some licks on it. And Team Howard oppositely, big sigh of relief. It was looking like three. Yeah, they, uh, they had to work there to get out of that one. Let's go on it, Keith, you gotta let it go. And that's so looking over at uh, the Holman Duncan game, it looks like a steal of steal of one. So uh, Team Holman takes a 5 3 lead into the uh, seventh end. elimination game or there the tiebreaker on sheet E not sure if you mentioned it. it's 6-1 for well, team Inglis playing in the sixth end not a ton of ice, man. That's quite a bit less Shot, Tim. Great shot, bud. No, I like it. I liked it, Langer. Okay. 
This one's uh, hanging well out there. Yep. 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 Well, yep. Yep. Just short of it. Yep. Keep going, Joe. Keep going, Joe. Right to it. Right to it. Trying to take it to the back. Okay. Good. Good call. Which they did. Plan B. Call anger. Well, there. Ah, they're two, aren't they? Nope. That's second. We're probably two if we're on top. What's he like? Heel? Okay. Guess so, yeah. Clean. What do you Clean. like, Timmer? Clean. Nice peel there by David Mathers. Stay hooked on it. Or freeze the back again. Well, it's pretty good right now. This is third. What? Yep. 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 I got left. I got left. Okay. Fine. You gotta go. We should. Gotta go wait. Fine. Oh. Oh. Gotta go, Joe. Gotta go, Joe. Gotta go, buddy. He's diving right now. Gotta go, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, why don't you hit it hard and roll both of them, Dave? Don't. Yeah? Okay? Uh, yeah, for, for a second. where is that? Just, um, back four. Yeah. Exactly. It's uh, getting to that uh, time of the week where Glenn's uh, voice seems to be <laughs> starting to go a little bit, a little crackly. It's been happening for uh, many, many years. I don't think he screams as loud as he used to. Um, never screamed as loud as Russ did. No, no, it'll get there. <laughs> Line's perfect. Line's perfect. Line's perfect. Looks heavy. It is. Tim, you got to go, Tim. You got to go, Tim. Town heavy. Oh, it's heavy, yeah. Right, lock it on. Not bad, just a little bounce off. Same, little less than what Mike's I gonna you follow it. Those draws to the wing, eh? Little yeah. cat and mouse game going Hockey. here. That's good. The curl, like it's okay, but yeah, it's just not much. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, line! Brent! Easy, easy! Line's good! Line's good! Mike's good. Just for weight. Mike's good. Come on, Brent. Hard. Keep going. Hard. Oh, oh yeah, boy. It's all right. Ryan not happy with that result. See what Glenn decides to do. Right on the nose, and I, I don't think that's going. No, no, no. Just oh, right on the nose, man. squirt it, and get this angle like that. Okay. Right? Pretty good. Then he goes there, though, guys. Yeah. We lost Rip our it. boy. If it touches lost it. Our boy. Oh, he's just, it's there. Just can't touch this. You guys don't like this, eh? Just bring right the nose, get that angle. If he freezes there, then you blast this across the top. Pretty good. It's pretty good. You guys do that. No, I don't think so. Don't think so. No. Don't think so. I like it, Scott. Right in the nose. Right in the nose. Dave, you got the angle like that. Yeah. Right in the nose. Normal. Yeah. Turn your like. I seen this one already. Yeah. Yep, 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 hard, 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 whoa, 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 who
good. Real good shot there. Angles are great Thanks. for Team Howard. You can come right in here. I don't know if it's good, but see. Yeah. Any heavier out here? Mike's gonna draw in on the other side. That looks like a ton of ice. Let's take an edge of 12. That looks like a ton. Right ice. Okay. This is uh, well light. See, there's quite a uh, activity on our on our Twitter account. Everybody commenting about the playoff system. People that don't uh, fully understand exactly what's going on, uh, complaining about no tiebreakers. There's always been tiebreakers. We're just down to one tiebreaker. Very similar to what happens in curling Canada. Maybe uh, Felix should read the rules a little closer, maybe next time, and understand what's going on out there. Always nice to hear from people outside yeah. of our organization yeah. complaining Hit about our playoff side, system and how we run things. Yeah. Can't really pick the blues. He welded in oh, there. No. Lost. I think you got to hit that. Okay. You got to open this thing up a little bit. Okay. Do you want to just? Do you want to leave this one here? I don't know. I don't think we do. Like hair high. Well, then he could double tap into here. As we've discussed before, we will have uh, meetings with all the teams at the end of uh, right the, the event. Really hard. Talk about the, the system, three, talk about the playoffs, the talk about how the qualifiers like work, how the Trillium yeah. Series work. Get them their input. Uh, we strongly believe that in Ontario, we work with the players. Like if I throw it really and, uh, hard, we're going to organize individual team meetings and way? work with oh, them. Desi, so can we spin this up and then get them lined up to come back Desi here. Doesn't the five hit the three and then that three? It's going to jam, but yeah, I'm not sure. No. Peel no. or firm? Peel, peel. Looking over on uh, Sheedy in our uh, tiebreaker game. No way. Team Harris has scored one like with Hammer play. in the uh, stick right there. six, so it's a 6 2 lead for uh, Team Inglis. Hi! Hi! Whoa! Hi! Whoa! Whoa! Clean! Yep! Yes! Hard! Harder! Scotty Howard trying to bunch around a ton of granite here. Ah, sorry, curl boys. just a hair. Zach? Ah. Looking at the time clock for both teams. Yeah, their uh, team uh, McEwen's down to 12 minutes. Call. Team Howard's got 1352. They're going to be lying three. Uh, two. Still. Play three ends yet to go, so they should be okay. To just touch the blue on the way in. I don't see anything else. I got to play this. Oh, so she just stayed there. Oh, man. <laughs> you want me to hit, Ryan? Half? Huh? Thin half? Oh. Yeah. Mike's trying to uh, hit the outside one and they call it a thin half and roll into the two on the uh, center line side. Too much action and uh, in the way a bit, so yeah, that didn't work out. He runs a double, he got for two. But, but can he, if he hits this, that's going nowhere. You can't, won't, won't be three. Not three. Is this the call, boys? Okay. No, I 
his first try was, and he was just on the floor. That's kind of, got to be Teddy's not great. Yeah, I know. It's got to be slower. Yeah. I do. On your side? Oh, did you? Okay. I'm throwing uh, tight card, uh, Joey, I assume. Or is he going around the whole thing? I think he's going around the whole All thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. He's taking the same ice that McEwen did, edge of 12. And uh, I got when McEwen good. did that, they came up woefully Line's short. Good. Line's good. You got Opus, room. Line's Opus good. Slide. Yep. Yes. Hard Tim jumping run. on this. It's really, really moving. Go, it's really Harder. starting to move. Harder. It's just a different Call piece of property. Out. Out it, baby. Bounce it hard. Bounce it. It's just a different piece of property out there. I was on that really early. And or we're, or we're yeah. take getting rid of. Yeah. Giving him a deuce. Oh, he just had to throw away. Think we can make this? I think it was the same speed, just the different uh, difference in the ice out that wide yeah, that caught both he and Ryan. I don't get out that wide typically uh, with the draws, so. Mike trying it on the other side this time. And he's drawn against two. Again, they're going out the edge of the 12. I like the line. On this side. I like the line too. Skippers will keep it clean and try and keep it uh, moving unless they feel like it's the line really race. warm. Close. Yep. Go hard. Hard. And here they go. Hard go. Hard go. Asking Joey to hold this rock. Hard go. Hard. Whoa, whoa, hard. Whoa. Go. Whoa. Great uh, draw by uh, Mike right there. Great communication. That actually had about uh, middle of the back eight weight, which he needed to get by. Could be. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. So either Glenn's going to fall him down, or now they've changed the call to a slight top on the uh, yellow rock on the top of the four foot. Like just to move it like a, a schmidz, like an inch and a half, and it's uh, it'll be shot. There's uh, Glenn asked. There's a split, and I don't. Know that there really is. Really got to move the, the yellow two inches. Looking at the clocks, uh, we're finishing the seventh <laughs> here. They've got uh, ten minutes seventeen for seconds for McEwen. By the time Glenn throws his rock, it'll be just over twelve, twelve, twelve oh five something. So they got three ends of curling to play. So Tim McEwen's had just done just over three minutes of an end with one timeout remaining, I believe. Well, room. Whoa. They both have two timeouts, Whoa. so they're, they're in good shape. Whoa, they're not, time. They can't really got waste a, a ton point. of time, but they got to. Harder. Glenn, really got to go hard. Glenn seemed to give that a Harder. bit more from his Harder. last throw. Tim's trying to. Uh, I think they Harder. bailed on the uh, top, trying to get it to the blue rock now and get one that way. Shot. Successful. Yep. So I'm calling it one yellow. One, one yellow. So it's a 3-2 uh, lead for Team Howard after seven. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Short's fine. Tim Howard, after the single in the uh, seventh, is uh, being called to throw up a guard here on uh, our um, 
other the women's 1-1 game team Duncan scores three in the seventh to uh, take a uh, something wrong with our online scoring here like it's a 6-5 lead I believe for uh, Line five. Yep, team Duncan Girl. that's okay keep going keep going it won't be in that thing's so slow Come on, come on, Scott. Go, 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 Scott. Go, go, tell anybody. Attaboy, Tim. Good throw. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you whipped it. Well, you have to. Right? Like, Eyes a little tight. Run completely different, eh? Oh, that's good. Mike Carling. Tim Carvin. The uh, good. corner guard here. A little deeper than... Uh, yeah, weight's good. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Good. It's, it's Kevin. Good shot. Yep, yep. Okay. Got See, him. there's uh, numbers going up on CD, so uh, I believe it's uh, two for Team Inglis in the seventh end for an eight, eight to two eight, lead. Line's good. Line's really good. Winner of that game will advance. Uh, go. We'll move right. into the. Uh, Qualifiers and play in the two on, two versus two game tomorrow morning, and then uh, one versus two in the afternoon. They'll carry the record from uh, the round robin into uh, that draw. So Team Inglis was four and one, playing Team Harrison at four and one. So we had three teams tied at four and one: Holman, Inglis, and Harrison. So top top twelve is. In the action, Howard leading three to two. McEwen with the hammer. So in theory, we're we're dead tied. We're still looking for our, our first cricket number. Shooting, Joe. One's going to follow this down and uh, freeze on top. Hope to be so we have a final on uh, Sheet E. Team Inglis has uh, won the game at 8-2 to two and will be advancing. Um, team uh, Harrison is a uh, lost tiebreaker and it will now be uh, okay. out of the field to play for the rest of the weekend. Bill Max. Scott, you got to go, Scott. Hard, Scott. You've got to go hard, Scott, to get a piece of this. You've got to go hard, Scott. You've got to go hard, Scott. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mike's going to try and clear the center here. Lose the shooter if he can, and looks like he got to go. Maybe even roll into the rings. Same shot, buddy. Same. That shot. Okay. How's that? Uh, good throw so with that win, Team Inglis will uh, advance to play Team uh, How Carly Howard in the morning in what we're calling the two versus two game. Hey, and and both teams are back on the ice in the afternoon in the uh, one versus one, or sorry, one versus two games. And we'll see these two teams on our feature sheet playing uh, the two teams on uh, our two two game, Fournier and Epping tomorrow. Go. Oh. Trying to hold it for shot. I to go Just over overcurled right. a bit. Yes. I'm saying yeah. it's got to go. A miracle. Control. Hit and roll. Just died in the house. Yeah. Control, Dave. 
Looks like he just took a turn, eh? Double there. The double there? Oh yeah. Even even go right into it, Scott. Can't go over the top. Ah, oh, good throws, man. Feel weight here coming oh, from Scott Howard. I feel the doubles there all day. Especially not call it defense. <laughs> Especially not call it defense. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. 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 Wait, whoa, whoa, go Dave, go Dave, it's gonna be close. Get over there. Great Harder. Shot, Stormer. Really great shot. Run it. What? Oh, uh, any thinner, Harder, eh? Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I hear you. Any thinner. Mike is uh, freezing down to Shot Rock. It's hanging out a bit. Maybe just a Yep. Make this real good. Yeah, it, it goes. Yeah. Heel? I think so. Make sure, David. Yeah. What turn, Scott? Whatever. Probably in. Six, Timmer. You know how mine ran. It's pretty straight. Okay. to set that one back just enough, but did get rid of the blues. Ah, that's mm. nice. I'm all over the map. Scott just questioning his throws a little bit. throw the same freeze again but he's still hanging just enough wide not finishing for them almost identical so I think there we've uh, updated our uh, our draw standings for uh, tomorrow's game Anything? so uh, as we said earlier tomorrow morning yeah. at uh, 9 30 a.m. on Pretty sheet good. B will be team uh, Carly Howard versus team Inglis who uh, won the uh, tiebreaker game you tonight you think that goes? Tomorrow oh, yeah. at uh, two thirty hey. on uh, sheet A, you'll see Team field. Fournier play Team McEwen, and uh, Team Howard versus Team Upping on sheet B, and then on Team the sheet C, Team Holman versus oh, Team know. Carly Howard, and Team Duncan will play Team Inglis, and that'll conclude our crossover draws. At which point, if uh, teams are tied, top three will advance to the playoffs, and if there's tiebreakers, we will do those Saturday night. So you can check that out on www curl on tv.ca and that'll link you to all the scoreboards and everything's up to date uh, ready for uh, action tomorrow. The only thing whoa. is whoa. rock whoa. color whoa. and whoa. 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 Yep. could change whoa. as the teams whoa. 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 Uh, whoa. Dave. Dave. pick their, uh, they flip for their uh, rock, either rock color or first go, 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 practice, go, 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 go. so second practice, so we'll see uh, how that goes. A little hung around for a second shot there.
finally got you. We're not out of it yet, Fry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did my job. <laughs> oh, you're good to go. So close. Yeah, it's rare that my rocks don't curl, eh? Yeah. Finding a new throw in my 40s. <laughs> Some really good banter between the two teams. Yeah, they've been, uh, I'd call it loose. You know, uh, if they uh, miss a shot, they're not happy. That's, that's quite obvious. No players out here uh, happy with a missed shot. But uh, the banter amongst the team has been very cordial and very good. And uh, almost gesturous at times. Some, uh, Thin double is risky. I think Glenn's going to just take out the back yeah, one and to make a seed a two. Let's see what happened there on sheet B, but. Uh, I believe Team Homan scored, so we'll just get you updated here as soon as uh, we get the posting on the board. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Anything, Scott? Dave, 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 Dave. Scott. Scott. <laughs> we have a final on sheet B, or sorry, D. So uh, it looks like a 7-2 win for Team Epping. So Team Epping uh, gets the record to 5-1. and one. Team uh, on you. let me just check here. Team Fournier goes to 4-2. and two. Um, They're going to want to stay there, so they're going to have to uh, beat... Um, they're in their draw. They're gonna have to win their draw tomorrow to keep themselves uh, alive. They're playing Team McEwen uh, tomorrow, so I think two losses is probably the max, just based on uh, the rankings of the teams coming in. So Team McEwen, Team Howard are gonna end up. One of them will be one loss. Team Epping's at one loss, so two is probably your maximum threshold here. Correct. We'll be eliminating one more oh. team tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon's yeah. draws, the conclusion of the afternoon draws, uh, barring any tiebreakers, we will be eliminating a team in both the men's and the women's competition. And then uh, we'll the winner, the leader at the end of it all, the top team will advance directly to the finals on Sunday, and uh, teams two and three will uh, move into the... Um, we'll measure. Yeah. So heard Ryan say they're going to measure this, so... We make unexpected. The uh, crash there. And yeah, in the eighth end, it looks like Team Holman scored two yeah. with the with hammers, so they're uh, now up like seven to six, playing in the eighth. Any guesses? Scotty Howard said blue, so his eyes are a lot younger than mine, uh, Joey. So I'm going to go with that. Three and a half ish. The overhead camera. Three and three and a quarter. Just over three yeah. and a quarter. Kind of shows blue. So but the guy's tightening in on it. Uh, that's trusting that uh, when we installed these, I got it right on the uh, line. I guess I did. Blue? Yellow. Yellow. I guess I didn't. So one yellow. Um, Team Howard uh, stealing a, it in the uh, eighth end. So it's a 4 2 lead for Team Howard after uh, eight. Hi, welcome to Van Dolder's Custom Exteriors. Step right this way to see inspiration around every corner. Are you looking for doors and windows that balance style with heating efficiency? We'll show you. Or maybe you want the beauty and virtually maintenance-free protection offered by Gentex Siding, Eaves, and more. We'll show you. Enjoy the tour. 
and discover your home's potential. If it goes on the inside of your home, you'll find it on the inside of ours. We'll show you. So welcome back. Uh, imagine I, I didn't see Glenn top the room, but I'm going to guess he's going to draw this into the top four foot. So um, ask Tim uh, Marks to put it in the four foot, and then we'll uh, see Team McEwen try and get up their corner guards and see what happens. I judge. Yeah, a bit of a right, surprising turn of events there. Hope it does. Just gotta stop. He says he's, he, I, I called you right out of time. Hey, jump. Yeah, he, he thinks he's got, got it. it. And this slides uh, deep the into the yeah, hit it. Up, back eight. And Mike and team are gonna hit it. Yep. Hard, hard to stick. So two games left on the ice right now. Uh, you can watch either of them with commentary. Uh, yeah, Mary Chilvers and uh, Sam Weber, uh, sorry, Sam Steep uh, broadcasting on G, and uh, Joey Ruttinger and uh, Steve Shiny here on uh, Sheet C. You can uh, go to curlontv.ca to pick up uh, either of those channels, or both if you're so inclined. Remind everybody, we will be broadcasting the Special Olympics Games tomorrow. Um, so you'll be able to watch those. I believe they start around 1230, 1240. Good shots, Joey. Uh, Team McEwen has decided that the clocks are a little tight, so they're going to run it up and down the sheet here and try and get their deuce in the 10th uh, and uh, work for the steal in the 11th or try and score three in the 10th or any permutation of the above. Yep. Yep. Really hard. This one's curling. He just has a look. I don't know. Through. He's decent. Is that the rock? Yeah, I think that uh, that's maybe one of those rocks they kind of shuffled around and gave to Dave. And Do I just throw it through? I can almost sure. guarantee you if, yeah. uh, if, the, if and when Glenn makes the playoffs, that rock won't be on their team sheet. Right. At that point, is it still they can select any rock from any sheet they So wish? once uh, the playoffs start, uh, the uh, women will be selecting from sheets one and two, and the men will be selecting from sheets two and three, or three and four, sorry. Um, we have to make it fair, right? Uh, so that was our choice, was to uh, restrict them to four sets of rocks. So um, the playoff teams will have there. So the number one seed will pick their rocks, and then the um, two seed, and then the three seed. And go a bit, they can go. change the two and three can really change them go. after their game. Really so heavy. decide. No, it's not. It's not heavy. Got to go. He's feeling it anyway, but keep going. Top four. Just no, just the outside. <laughs> The Boys team. still having fun. Uh, Ryan Fry yelled down top four, knowing that it was appeal all day. So, <laughs> just trying to throw Mike a curveball, keep it loose. Good langer. Light, eh? Felt pretty good to me. So this quick end is uh, banked uh, more than enough time. Um, everybody's well within range here. Uh, 
Team McEwen's going to have somewhere around six minutes to uh, finish the game, and uh, Team Howard is well over eight right now, so they'll be in the seven-something minutes. So no fears of time clock uh, in the last end, with both teams having uh, a couple of timeouts left. Scott wow. uh, felt he was heavy there, but again, out in that uh, wide stuff. In the back four. Brian was in the hack right to go, and uh, as he did earlier uh, this week, I saw him. He barely waited for the broom to get down. He knows what he's got to do, and I used to remember uh, Graham McCarroll doing that to Wayne Madoff. Wayne hovered the broom near the rock. It was gone. Out turn. Funny story, one year up at the Jamaica Spiel in North Bay, we ended up playing uh, Graham and uh, Wayne in the uh, Saturday morning dreaded game, bright and early, and everybody's kind of bleary-eyed and getting ready. And uh, I was vicing, so Graham came out, and he goes, call it, and I yelled, heads, and he goes, heads it is. And they all walked out to the hog line and stood there as if they'd won the toss. And I'm standing there, and my lead says to me, he says, uh, what color do you want? I said, hang on a minute here. Not a lot of hand Doing the motions with my hand. Going, I think we won. It wasn't positive. Wayne yelled down. He goes, you didn't do that to them. It's too early in the morning, Graham. He says, well, I work sometimes. Yeah, 15, nice. So I remember that one uh, my entire life and laughed at it uh, all the time. <laughs> Curlers are up to play games. A little gamesmanship every now and then. If we'd have thrown the first rock, they would have went, oops, you lose the hammer, boys. Sorry. Guys playing like they've got a gus, uh, bus to catch here, but uh, I think you'll see a little more interesting 10th uh, end coming up. Yep, we're settling in for some 10th end fireworks, I'm sure. Looking over at uh, the Holman Duncan game, there's no rocks in play with one to come, so I assume this is a throw throw. Th Giving a throw through by uh, Team Duncan to hold the hammer and uh, be down 7 Keep 6 to Team Home and playing 10. No, you're right. Oh my God, my skin. <laughs> So Tim said as it was coming into the rings, it was going to hang on by half a rock, and Ryan uh, got all over it and got it out and uh, he turned around and said, see how strong I am to, uh, to Tim Martin. So this is a throw through for the blank. The routine, Michael, watch it. He uh, wants to see what's happening. So the score has just gone up on the home and game. It was a blank, so... Uh, Get a three. Tracy's leading 7-6 with uh, Holly Duncan having the hammer in the 10th coming home. Okay. And our game was a blank, and we'll get back for the 10th there shortly. The Roaring Game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tangard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. Yeah. And we're back here for the 10th end, this 1-1 one, one game. One versus one. Powered up four to two. I would say they're gonna throw this in the forefoot, uh, Joey. This has been this typical defensive strategy when you're uh, carrying a lead, then you let your opponent throw their corner. Um, you might bring the second one in the rings. They're more than likely gonna throw another corner. 
and then uh, you decide what you're doing at that point. And with uh, the hitting ability of this team, I would suggest they're going to peel and peel and peel. And then McEwen will have to make a play at one point uh, in the end when he feels comfortable. He'll uh, go ahead. So, mission accomplished for uh, to judge. This Tim March. Think it's heavy, eh? Joey Hart being asked for a corner guard. Well, it's picking, I think. You'd want uh, yeah. something about halfway. Anything much longer than that seems to be you can get around them fairly simply. Okay, mission accomplished for Joey. As you predict it, coming right in again. <laughs> Pretty. No, I don't, I think don't it is. ever want to see that. Look I think we have to work this a bit. Yeah, yeah you got to go for me. Good. Line's really good. You can go, Dave. You can go. Uh, it's getting tight now, but still really good. Line it up. Tomorrow morning Curl we'll see uh, at 9.30, we'll see uh, Team Carly Howard take on Team Ing uh, Team uh, Danielle Inglis. Uh, that'll be the only game on the ice in the morning. Then uh, we'll have four games on in the afternoon. You'll see uh, Team uh, Glenn Howard will be taking on uh, Glenn, uh, depending on the outcome here, could be 5-1 and one or 6-0. and oh. Team Epping sitting at 5-1. and one. Then you'll see Team Fournier taking on uh, Team McEwen. McEwen will either be 6-0 and or 5-1. And, and Team Fournier is uh, sitting at 4-2. Good. Good shot, Yeah. Oh, tight, Dave. Gives a little more room to roll to. Guarding. We need a mather. David Mather's okay, being called to there. halfway guard on the center line. Okay, like to go here actually. Yep. Really throw him. Hard him. Really throw him. Hard him. Yep, yep, yep. Go, go, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shot, dude. So we've got the two corner guards, a center guard yeah, with uh, two rocks covering the top. So uh, Tim McEwen that is going to run well. it. So far, perfect execution by nice? both teams. Just like the chalkboard. I thought he had a couple more feet than that. And uh, Brent's going to run this back. Almost a full house in here tonight, and everybody's stuck around to see the end of these two games. Shot by Brent. Did leave the blue out front slightly. Yeah, right. top eight. Got top rid 12. of two yellow though. Yep. Go there. Go here. Yep. No, that's not good. Yep. So bite the eight. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, there. Well, not heavy. Wait for it. We can wait. Well, thank good. everybody that's been uh, joining in all week. We've uh, had some very good uh, results here. And I'll tell you that uh, this sheet itself has uh, generated to date over 70,000 uh, viewers. That's uh, that's fantastic, Joey. And I can tell you that uh, sheet B, those are our two feature sheets. And just switch accounts here and look, but uh, yeah, fourteen two I got. Those are great numbers. Name. Sheet B is uh, generated uh, sixty thousand on its own. So, wow. yeah, we uh, you know we did some estimating and some working. We thought we'd get to three hundred thousand viewers for the week, and I, I think we're uh, going to be well over that, which is uh, fantastic. Yep. God, sure is nice for the 
viewer to switch on any game they want. Yeah, we're hearing lots of comments about that, and you know, people are happy, even though uh, we don't have full full uh, digital streaming on each, and where we're commentating and stuff. But uh, you get to watch the game at least for now. Uh, it's a change for us. You know, in years past, we've been one sheet. Uh, we moved it to two last year, and uh, we've upped it to five this year. So next time it'll be 25. Uh, who knows? Uh, we just we try to get better every year. And, Invest little by little. It's a it's a big endeavor. It's a lot of work. Uh, you know, it involves more uh, more more of the production team coming up and a crew, but uh, we're getting there. We're yeah, quite uh, happy with the product. Cute. It easily stick it. Whatever you like. And we've advanced Back it even into all the goal. other uh, events. You know, your U18, the U21. So we're we're able to broadcast quite a few Move games now, and that's uh, yeah. Helps the curling fan across the province. Ontario's not small. It's uh, quite a waste yeah. to drive. Uh, so, with uh, so Glenn Scott's first here, I think they're going to try and uh, get to the inside. Oh. Yeah, what are you throwing here? Yeah. Okay, back eight. Wait. Now they'll get to see if they can get Dave to carve it over. Really hot to He's curl. working. They were hoping to get to the inside. He's going to be very close. So it's not bad at all. Glenn says he gave a bit too much ice. I think we got to move something, Mike. Looking over at our uh, sheet B, Team Holman leading 7-6 without hammer. I see uh, three blue rocks and three yellow rocks in the foot lined up. So I believe Team Duncan is close to lying two right now. I can't quite see from here. Joey, I don't know if, if you got a better angle. It's really close. close. I think it is uh, two blue and uh, Duncan's calling yeah, for the guard. She's throwing a guard on the yellow rocks yeah. to not give uh, Rachel the opportunity to raise. There's uh, two, three r blue stones and two yellow stones to come yet. So that might be uh, four and three. So. I'm not sure. There isn't a rock in the back and I count five yellow and four blue. So I'm not sure it's four and three to come. Not sure Duncan can guard it all. She's got the yellow at the top and you can just move this way from inside here. I do think no, can, can we I, do this? I do think I can throw hack at this and get to here. Mm -hmm. And then maybe get the seven. So we have our first timeout in this uh, in this game, so uh, team uh, McEwen is called timeout. You don't like trying to throw a little more weight. So uh, Team Duncan on sheet B came right into the, the pile here. with a nice freeze. So. Ah. Gonna hit that you can definitely do that outside with how much yellow. curling there. Can this take the both away. So that'll be that with Tracy's like last stone. I'm going to try and angle raise yellow. their yellow in to uh, move uh, yeah, you just have to hold the four little blue rocks right here. That. Slash it in there. I'm seeing this. Do you like this with me? Hey! Coach. Hart? No, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Coach Hart not allowed. I'll share right on the phone bumper. <laughs> he's kind of getting in there for every inch. And I'm teasing Richard. He's very comfortable. He's just down there talking to them. And so, time uh, officially knows, over and the clock's back in. Then. and. Again, we, uh, we were a little worried early in the clocks, but they're fine now. They, uh, they're well, both of them have no problems getting to the end of the game. They're well over four minutes. So what did you say? No clock issue okay. here. Holman made the... Tracy Fleury, yep, yeah. through the, uh, the angle on the yellow and uh, made, made it. Not, uh, I tell you, I've never seen so many rocks in the forefoot. Uh, Final end. So Team Duncan calling the timeout. They're going to review it there. Close. Line's 
good. Fifth uh, alternate, Sherry Madaw, coming up to talk to the team. On our sheet, uh, Ryan Fry moved that yellow rock. Uh, the redirect is now mm. going to go right onto that back one, is whether you can uh, keep the redirect to rock. Team McEwen needing two to win. Or, sorry, two to tie. Yeah, I say, can, can you see that? I can't see much of that. that can virtually nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Because totally. I can't touch it, though. Okay. I can't move no. it. If he flashes that in, we're not. That's not good. What's that? Yeah, then he's got the lots go. Freeze is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, we got a, got a shot till I see it. Huh? Keep it right here. This looks pretty good. It goes nowhere. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Rich, two for one. <laughs> it's really just confirmed scary. with uh, Dave Hutch, the event coordinator, that uh, get it in there. He's the uh, Special Olympic ball. Games will be uh, broadcast live tomorrow. They're on sheets A and D, yeah, so we'll be bringing those without commentary. What if we go right but, here? Uh, they'll be there Start so this. everybody can view. He plays the top. I think we, I think we, I think we put one right there. Yeah, I do too. My only thing is... No, you don't want him to get inside. <laughs> Tim, if you can freeze. Right yeah. There. So where was that last one, boys? So I think they've called the freeze, Joey, to the, uh, uh, the inside of the yellow rock. They're trying to get to the center line side. Center line side. Okay. Uh, just trying to uh, hold Mike, obviously, to one. I look and see the, uh, the, back, uh, the back rock all day. It's just a... Mm -hmm. uh, they're, you know, we work hard not to give up the deuce. And Still a good position for Team Howard because uh, if the deuce is scored, they'll coach will hammer into the uh, extra end, the 11th. Um, yep. Just touch that. So Please. Which one? Line's curl. good. Got a curl. Yep, no, line's curl. good. Got a curl. Got a curl a ton. Got a curl a ton. Got a curl a ton. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah. I almost lined it up that uh, I think the redirect on the blue may go by the yellow or just nick it and we'll probably into yep. the back eight. Yep. Yep. Maybe a little drag. Could be. But uh, currently, well, if I, if I flush it here, McEwen, you've got to move some there, stuff here because you don't have access to get in six. there. To get a second blue back there. We're talking about the run back, I think, here, uh, Joey, right now. I don't think they can. They definitely uh, can do that. This is probably going to end up lining up on it, right? But. Mm -hmm. And that blue. Back. Yeah, I know. Team McEwen has 335 oh, left on the shot. clock plus a timeout. Uh, okay, go three rocks. Go so they're in good shape. Cool. Yeah, maybe the same shot, Mikey. Let's call time again if you want. How much time we got? Watch it. As Team McEwen calls her second timeout, uh, Coach Richard Hurd will walk to the ice and uh, have a chat well, here. The thing is, is that Ford's going like, can we unlock this? Yeah. Can we? Can we just? Like, oh, no. Yeah. Right now, the blue. right now the blue's gone. Yeah. Can we, can we play wait just to unlock it? Looking over at sheet uh, B, Team uh, Holman. Yeah. Blocking oh, off what I yeah, see. So they're sitting. Um, looks like Holly Duncan is one, Holman is two, Duncan is three, four. Joey, would you agree? I'd agree with that. Across the run. Holly needs uh, one to tie, two to win. I'm just we have uh, I'm three just rocks to come. To Duncan like has two rocks, ever, and uh, we run it, Rachel has one. No, can you get lucky to clip this four? 
Maybe, maybe. And get that. That broadcast is also available uh, to you at curlontv.ca. No, but the f if we click the four, we'll we catch might get the last few rocks. I know. Do a split screen, have both going. This yeah, it's exciting it. times. It's all happening. Okay, yeah. let's play that. Okay, I like it. So I think uh, the discussion is going to do. Uh, huh? Yeah, it's, it's. I've got nothing from the hack, but. It, it'll come in, though. Yeah. So you're going to throw hack weight at the top blue rock there and try and uh, shuffle things around? Yeah, just get everything moving on lock. Okay, hack weight. Rock's coming in hard at the, hard. I think they're gonna get by though. They're getting by, no problem. Yeah, better than it was. Did, uh, did unclutter it a little bit. Just not sure how the two is in play, other than maybe the run back into the inside of the blue. See right now. Well, you can run it right now. Good point, Tim. That not. Two rocks That's to come one. on sheet yeah, B. Team Holman is no. throwing third, last stone, uh, up one right, without. You, if you ever come I believe Team Duncan no is uh, is We're one right now. So um, Holly threw a rock that came up about what three inches smoke? short of uh, touching the button, and uh, that. They're going to look to somehow erase that rock in here, and I think Team uh, Holman is trying, trying, trying to guard that side. Yeah. And you hammer that in sex trend. Team Howard has uh, four minutes and they are one yellow. timeout remaining. Right here. Team McEwen has 244 left over for the last two rocks. Not to we won't be able to do any oh long discussions, but they will get the rocks too. in fairly easy. And tap the five, and then we're... I think uh, Team Holman successfully got their uh, guard in place, so now it's a... Uh, looks like a cold draw to the edge of the forefoot, to the edge of the button. Um, Maybe Tim's called yeah. right, right here. <laughs> guys who have played the game this time. Oh, <laughs> so Glenn's going to use his timeout <laughs> now. And you don't want to go there. That's need terrible. Need that. That, that I, think that that through. I think that gives us a he comes through the hole and knows that we're in really trouble. Right now, the right you ever hit, hit this? Well, that's what I was just looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Click off the yellow. If it ever misses and this stays here, that's not good. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, it's going to pick this. Can he come off this with a heater? Probably not, eh? Looks hard. It's not that nice. I don't think Team Duncan is throwing the draw. It looks like they're. I don't hate it. It's another. It's another snivel, right? Yeah. I think perfect. Could ever hit it two to, to win, one yeah. to tie. But yeah, you don't want. You, I believe you don't want they're to sitting the, the one right now. He goes to the hole and knows that. <laughs> but I might be wrong, and they're just going to. Uh, have the one that I just threw. Nudge the one at the, the top right button there. in for one. We will keep you. I, uh, I don't want to hit that because no, then th that no. seven's gone. Update it as soon as the shot happens. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's do it. Let's hit this. Yeah. Normal. Board. Yeah. Normal. Glenn talked about uh, drawing through He's that. trying to roll it frozen, eh? Tiny little oh. hole that he is uh, taking out the blue and going to roll in, which I kind of like. I think that's the only shot uh, that Team McEwen has right now is that run on the top. The guard at the center line. I think the yes. And uh, so Team Duncan is just coming in. They oh. nudged it. Just not and out. I believe they got their one for the tie. And uh, we'll be going to next round on sheet uh, B with uh, a 7-7 seven, seven tie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Team Holman holding the hammer. Close. Yep. Hard. Harder, Dave. 
Hey, harder! You gotta go! I'm trying go, to hold go, this go, as go, long go, as go. they can. I think that uh, okay. pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Really good. Works so far. Yeah. What? That was a scoreboard call. I think you gotta make the blue. You gotta hit this as. Hold them you gotta to one. hit this as. Hold them to two. Yeah, you gotta hit this as thin as you can. Option. Get it off to this, and the four's gotta yeah. go into there. So yeah, right? quite running. Yeah. No, yeah. you got it. You got it dead. Like this. You don't have to run it. We don't have to run it. Yes. Three, three quarters. Three quarters. Boom, boom, boom. Right. It, it kicked okay, no this no here. Yes. It just got. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So way, right? uh, they see, yeah, peel. they see, peel, right here, two thirds, three quarters on that, one. on that uh, yeah. yellow rock, yeah. and see if they can uh, here, yeah, this, this, this rattle this into the two blues and here. shake it up a little bit. It's it's two thirds, three quarters, Mike. Yeah, to get them both gone. No, no, I'm not worried about the top of this. Mike's got one. 35 when he settles into the hack here so he'll have no timeouts and uh, about a minute minute uh, 20 to throw for his next one min minute 15 or so so not much time but they'll be they'll be ready he just has to let the rock go by the, uh, across the tee line and uh, that rock will be considered in play we're going to see some granite move here yes we are this could be all of Peel. Let me just see how the curl, 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 curl. angles and curl, curl. trying to curl this curl, in. I wanted to get the inside three quarters. Just didn't curl up enough. They uh, wanted to get it inside. They said uh, two thirds, three quarters. So. Yeah, and uh, Howard is currently yeah. lying one and two. That's a two. That's a two. I believe. We're two. He can't hit this. Oh, what boys? Yeah, he's got a shot. What? He runs his guard in the two. Not oh this. Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. this, this. Dead nut for three. Mm. Doesn't? No. I'm with, I'm with Tim. No chance. No chance. I'm with Tim. What's no that? Chance. No chance. It never touches this. No. no. Hope not. <laughs> I don't see anything else, though, boys. Glenn just taking a quick peek at the clock, making sure he's. Uh, not getting anywhere near. He's at 217 right now. Two, it's two. 210. So he's got I'll lots of time. He just has to, again, he just has to release or just get the rock over the T line at the other end and uh, it's in play. So they're going to they're gonna make a call so here shortly. If it comes off the two, yeah, it probably goes this well, way. It's not going. Yeah. It's not going. No chance. Mike has a minute eight on his, so uh, they won't have as long to discuss. They'll uh, have to be trying to figure out the angles here while they're waiting for Glenn to throw his. No, it's the two stays. Minute 44, I don't know. Some kind I think of guard. That's a problem, Rock, boys. Yeah, guard up. So. Some kind of guard. So I think they've committed to which one's their, the, the, the fear one, so they're going to try and guard it up. And yeah, you want to guard the outside. Yeah. yeah. Call's made, so uh, lots of time. Minute, minute 20, you minute 15 go to go way. here, so. Glenn will settle in the hack with about a minute to go, so he should have no fear to throw this rock. Yeah. That's it's got to go to the far side of this, eh? Ryan and Mike are already analyzing what's going on, that, and trying to figure out their shot. The the 12 and it should. Uh, left. Right off, eh, boys? Okay, you got room, room, room. Glenn Whoa, taking away the Whoa. angle, uh, angle Whoa. rock. Mike's thinking he might have to run there. Just has to stop. Get this. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. I think with this one. Got Just buzz it by. So, um, that rock come to rest and the did. player's clear. So McEwen is on Mike. the clock right now. They're at a. I don't think it's it is. going to be in a minute right uh, about now, so they're going to look it over quickly. Mike's got to get down and uh, throw the rock. Yeah, I like this too. Okay. 
John? Yeah, try and hit it onto I'm here. Try and it right onto there. Mind if I just give this a little? <laughs> <laughs> just a touch? As we said earlier, they've been almost actually uh, almost yeah. having fun out here. It's, it's good. It's good to see. Yeah. Tim stands over and just blocks the clock and goes, yeah, time's up. Let's go. So, uh, no. Mike settling in the hack with 30 seconds to throw. And like I said, he just has to get it across the uh, the tee line at the other end. So, no fears here. It's just uh, whether they have the shot here or not. Trying to run this back, angle the yellow into the blue, blue into the yellow, back over into the one behind the button Whoa. for two. Easy. Girl. No. So Mike said girl, no. Girl, girl. No, it'll be one for uh, Team Howard. So Team Howard will win this game 5-2. to two. That'll move Team Howard into 6-0 and oh record. I mean, McEwen will drop to 5-1. and one. Um, These uh, two teams will play again tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. The uh, extra end is ongoing on uh, Sheet B. If you want to cross over to that one, it's uh, www.curlontv.ca. Thank you very much, Joey, for announcing tonight. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, I'm sure. Will do.